A while back I spilled some liquid flux on my Arduino and MP3 player shield. Today we're going to clean the sticky residue off of the circuit board and hope for the best. The way we're going to clean this circuit board today is with 91% isopropyl alcohol. And the reason we're using that is because isopropyl alcohol is a general solvent and anything over 90% is useful for cleaning circuit boards, or so I've read. And uh, the reason we're using alcohol is because it'll evaporate quickly and it won't leave any residue behind, or at least it shouldn't. And we'll dry it off with some paper towel, although you should use lint-free um, towel or whatever. I don't have that, but I think I'll be alright with a paper towel. I'm also going to use these Q-tips. You should use lint-free Q-tips as well. These are tightly wound so I may not have issues with it but they make those uh, those q-tips with the uh, the lint-free pad on the end those would work really well but anyway I'm going to dip this uh, toothbrush in isopropyl alcohol and I'll just get it wet and I will lightly brush the top of the and the sides actually of this uh, circuit board and the Arduino and uh, I'll dry it off with the, the paper towel and uh, we'll see how this goes I don't really have anything to lose so you also want to wear gloves when you do this and I'll be wearing these gloves you can buy the gloves and the alcohol actually at Walmart so that's where I got it and um, pretty easy to get the supplies and we're gonna see how it goes and hopefully I'll be able to use this when we're done well after I let it dry a while so pretty confident that it'll happen let's see what happens here is the liquid flux that I used that I spilled and it's uh, by MG Chemicals. I like the liquid because it was really easy to apply and it did a great job of increasing solder flow so you got really good contacts, solder contacts, but on the downside, it was it could be very messy. Since I no longer use that liquid flux, I have switched to SRA flux number 135. And uh, this isn't an infomercial or anything, but I really like this. This is a, a paste, a rosin paste. And I'm gonna open it here. And I just use a toothpick to dig in there and then dab a little bit onto my circuit board or onto the uh, soldering joint. And this works really well. I like it. It doesn't leave a lot of residue behind. And I primarily like it because it allows the solder to flow really well and you get really good connections like, uh, like I did on this board. And I used uh, the paste on this board. And you can see, if I zoom in here, you can see that it's very clean I like it a lot and that's what I use anyway that's what I use and I'm glad I switched I don't have to worry about knocking uh, liquid flux over anymore now it's time to clean our board so I got my 91% isopropyl alcohol and I've got my sticky board here inside this plastic bag get this out and take a look at it it's pretty sticky so I'm wearing gloves and I don't have any that are large I'm wearing, I'm wearing medium gloves so they're pretty tight got, got my toothbrush q-tips and I think we're ready to go well here's a look at the board right out of the package you can see it's absolutely covered in what looks like syrup but uh, that's the uh, the liquid flux solder flux and it's very, very sticky. In fact, um, I was going to throw it away, but I figured it's $50, and that's actually a lot of money to me, so I'm going to get it out and at least try to clean it. Here's a look at the uh, board underneath here, the red board, and wow, it's pretty tight. It doesn't even want to come out. I'm actually pulling pretty hard. I feel like if I pull any harder than that, it's going to tear it up, so I think we need to clean it with some alcohol first before I try anymore. You can see that it actually poured on top and it looks like it went through the through holes that are in the um, circuit board and that's where it just spread all over the bottom board so it's the, both boards are totally covered um, but I think we can clean it up. Even the bottom side has a lot of sticky stuff on it so let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to I don't want to pour alcohol on it, but I want a significant amount of alcohol on my toothbrush to kind of cut through the uh, 
the stickiness here and it should dissolve and once I do that I'm going to wipe it up with a uh, paper towel that should help me uh, be able to clean it off and I'm using a soft bristle toothbrush you don't want to use a stiff bristle although this sounds like it's stiff it's actually pretty soft this is my first time doing anything like this so the game plan here is to just scrub it with a with alcohol and the toothbrush and then try to dab it up dab it off of there with a paper towel and just keep repeating that and then kind of do detail work with the q-tips and we'll see how that goes so it's gonna take a little bit of time I mean I may need to go over it a couple times but uh, I, I, the goal is to save the board so we'll see how far we get with that one thing I should add is that if you're using 90% or higher isopropyl alcohol to clean your board, you want to get a little bit of ventilation because it smells like an operating room in here. The fumes are pretty, pretty strong. I hit pause and I scrubbed and wiped some more off several times and now I'm ready to just use this Q-tip to go over it and try to get what I couldn't get with the toothbrush. So we'll go over the crevices, we'll go around the chips here and just try to clean up anything we see and it's starting to look better but it's um this is definitely taking some patience for sure at this point i'm not really worried about getting too much alcohol on it because it evaporates so fast um i'm, I'm just wanting to clean it and get the stuff off of it i also want to clean the sides because i can't pull them apart so i'm going to have to use that uh, alcohol to dissolve some of that uh, sticky residue on the sides Then once I've got the sides real good I'm gonna flip it over and get the bottom because uh, it's on the bottom too It just seeped through the whole thing uh, cleaning the bottom has been the easiest part so far There was still some residue left at the base of the header pins So I went back and scrubbed that with a toothbrush just to be sure to get that off And I'm finding as I'm scrubbing the top of the header pins, it's coming out the bottom of the base of the header. So I gotta get that too, and that's a good thing. I thought that the Arduino under the shield would be spared a little bit and it'd just be a little bit of cleanup, but it, it is so bad and covered with stickiness. I'm gonna have to take this apart. And it's actually moving now. It wasn't moving before. So it's coming out, that's good. Oh yeah, that's real sticky. So the underside of the shield is very sticky and the pins are extremely sticky as well. So I'm going to have to scrub these multiple times and then wipe them off multiple times. It's going to take a while but I'm going to get this cleaned off. And you can see the stickiness in the uh, reflection. Here's a look at the Arduino Uno or Redboard which the shield was sitting on and although I didn't directly spill the flux on this it did seep through. I got quite a bit on this board and you can see as I'm starting to scrub it's starting to dissolve and then I got to wipe it off quickly just like I did the uh, the shield and then just continue to do that and then uh, it eventually comes up so I think in the end it came out pretty well this is what I ended up starting with it's a close-up as you can see pretty messy and pretty thick now we'll go over here and check it out after the cleanup and now it looks a lot a lot better it's not perfect uh, it still needs cleaned up a little bit but definitely uh, not quite as sticky as it was before everything looks nice on it and the next step is to just plug it in and see if it works my initial thought uh, during this video was that not everything needs to be a video but I'm kind of glad I did it because it shows you you can you can clean these boards with alcohol and it does a pretty good job especially if you if you have a spill on it and that includes water if you spill water on it clean it with alcohol dry it out and don't toss it immediately so um, it looks salvaged let's go ahead and connect it and see if it works since I don't know what to expect when I put this uh, micro SD card in the board whether it be sticky or whatever, I'm just going to use the smallest one I have, the cheapest one I have, and this came free with a board, an ESP32 board. So I'm going to try that one out. I'm going to put some tunes on it, and I'm going to put it in here and see if it plays. Well, let's just check to see if it gets a red light first. You get the red light, so that's good. 
and we get the lights on the uh, the bottom board here it looks good so far putting the SD card in I could tell it was a little sticky it wouldn't go in as smooth and I couldn't hear the click but I could feel the click and it did lock in place and it is kind of hard to remove as well let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works so we'll go ahead and see if it detects motion and it does, it plays the song without any problem, that's good okay seems to be working fine I'm using digital pin 5 and 10 and they are working great so far so the board and the shield work fine the SD card is sticky when I pull it out but I just clean that off and then I put it back in it seems like the stickiness is clearing up on that it still doesn't go in properly you still can't hear it click when you put it in but it works and the plug the USB when I plug it in it was sticky but that's kind of cleared up too I may do some small detail work to clean up the SD card but for now it's working and at this point it seems like I saved myself an mp3 player shield and board so if you do happen to spill something on your board don't throw it away immediately try to clean it with alcohol you might be surprised at the results thank you for watching I hope this was helpful to you if you enjoyed it be sure to like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff electronics Arduino and all that and I will see you again with another video